Hello my beautiful souls, this is the Seeker of Light Guardian and today I'm doing a pick a card reading. This is going to be a love letter from a past love. You have three choices and you can um, pause if you need to to tune into the cards and the dice. But we have pile number one here, which is this um, masks dice happy sad emotions take it any way it resonates for you however you're feeling this dice here i'm going to call it masks so here we have the abacus so tune into that see how that makes you feel and that'll be pile number two you can go by the dice by the cards looking at them or by the number lastly here we have the world so we have the world here for number three. So pick one, two, three, masks, abacus, or the world. I'm starting with the masks here, pile number one. So pile number one, thank you. This is your reading. We'll start with your dice and see what your story is here. So we have here masks. We have the tree and we have the star so what i'm getting here for your story is that you know there has been ups and downs when it comes to how you guys feel how this person feels about you um but the thing is here that there's a period that needs to happen here for your person to grow they need to grow they need to grow into who they're supposed to be and they have to grow into emotional maturity only then can wishes come true only then can they soar and go towards the things that you guys are meant to be going towards I'll put this up here and let me know in the comments if this is your story but you know this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest if it's not your story it's not your story and that's okay not every single message to come through here might be for you but there might be one or two messages here this might not resonate for you at all but this message all of these might resonate for you so take it any way it resonates so this is your love letter from your person the person you're thinking about right now i'm totally into you I hear you. I wish I knew how to love. So your person wants to open up and tell you here that this that they have fallen for you. They're totally into you. They love you. They have all these feelings for you. And the thing is that you might have thought that everything you said fell on deaf ears. But it didn't. They heard every single thing you said. They still hear you your words linger in their mind and they've really been taking it in like using this time when they're growing when they're going through this um transformation to go back and really take in the things you said the things of truth that you spoke to them but at the time weren't willing to hear weren't willing to really uh, acknowledge this has led them to see that you know they actually do not know how to love they don't know how to love themselves they don't know how to love you and this is part of their growth right now this is part of what they need to do this is why perhaps they can't be with you right now it's because they need to grow so they can learn how to love themselves and in turn learn how to love you we have you are and always will be the one for me i love you so know this your person they do love you and, you, and I feel like you know this because you are and always will be the one for them. You, um, you, you ignited all these emotions for them. That's why it was up and down because they were like, oh my God, I have all these feelings for this person and I don't know what to do with them because I really have never felt like this before. But this is overwhelming. You know, where do I start? Um, it was too much. It was too much for them. So they perhaps just needed to step away. They stepped away because they just couldn't. But know this. You feel like home to me. With you, they just feel right at home. Your energy um, soothes them. Your energy comforts them, holds them, makes them feel at peace, makes them feel like they can do and say anything. Be anyone. Be who they truly are. Because you feel like home to them. Because you are home to them. We have here 
I thought this was what you wanted. So perhaps when it came to you guys splitting up, they might have misread you. They might have thought that this is what you wanted. You didn't want to have to deal with them because perhaps of their emotional ups and downs. Perhaps they weren't grown enough for you. They weren't mature enough. They didn't know what they wanted. They didn't know what they had. There's all these things floating around for them that they just didn't know or understand what to do with. So they thought, you know, this is what you wanted. You wanted them to, to walk away from you. So they either pushed you away or they walked away from you. And they're saying now here, I am who I am because of you. Because they met you, because they felt this this energy of what home feels like. They started this transformation. They started this growth. They started to grow into who they were supposed to be. And this is because of you. This is because of you, because you awoke them. You are my beloved. Know that always and forever. You are my beloved. And lastly, here we have. In my head, I saw things playing out differently. So even though they, they even though they see this, they thought this is what you wanted. They thought things were going to turn around. They thought perhaps you'd come back. They thought perhaps um, they would be strong enough to stay. In their head, things were going to work out a lot more different than this. Because... They love you. You are their beloved. It has always been you. It will always be you. So in their head, they were like, oh, no, this is this is not for real, for real. This is like a blimp. You know, in their head, they saw all of this working out differently. So guys, if you chose the mask or pile number one, this was your love message from a past love. Thank you so much for watching. If you have, uh, if you want to get this reading for yourself, it is available in my shop. Just go in the description box and you'll get all the information you need. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys. If you chose the Abacus, this is your reading. Let's start with your dice. So we have here the Abacus. Sorry. We have time. And we have dice. So what I'm getting from this is that your person has been counting. Has been counting down to the days when they perhaps can roll the dice and take that leap, leap of faith. But the thing is that they know with this time here in the in the middle is that they know it's down to divine timing. They know that timing is everything if there's ever going to be a chance for the two of you to come back together so while they wait for that moment for that opportunity to roll the dice to take a leap of faith they're going to keep counting keep counting and um, looking forward to the day when they can they can come to you and um bring some kind of message to you or try again or do whatever they can to perhaps reconnect with you so this is a general reading, so please take what resonates. Like this dice reading might not be for you. It might not resonate for you, but the cards might. So take it however it resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make anything fit. So this is your love letter from your past love. I taste you. Everything about you turns me on. And I yearn for you. So your person is like physically aching for you, physically wanting to be with you, probably thinks a lot about your physical encounters. Um, your person is just like, you know, really missing that physical side of the two of you. Um, and this is perhaps why they're counting down the days. They want to roll the dice, but they know that they want, they, when they come to you, they have to come with more than just the physical. Yes, the physical between the two of you was like out of this world, probably. And they can, you know, they can, they yearn for you, they feel you, they taste you, they, you know, just anything and everything about you turns them on. They're like, your, your energy, you, they're missing your energy and they want to be wrapped up in that energy again. They want to be in that ecstasy of, of what happens when the two of you get together. This is what they're counting down to, to the to the time when you guys have gone so far into your healing that you guys can be physical again. What else do we have? Since I left you, I have transformed. 
I want you to be happy even if it's not with me. So your person is like going through this transformation. They're learning more about themselves. They're understanding who they are, understanding who you are. Also understanding that, you know, um, happiness starts within. And they don't want you to, to um, they don't want to keep you from your happiness. Even though that they yearn for you, that they body aches for you, that they want all these things with you. And they've been counting down the days. They don't want you to to not be happy until they come back. They don't want you to wait around for them while they transform. They want you to live in your happiness, seek your happiness within while they do what they need to do. Because they're trusting in divine timing. They're trusting that when they when they do get around to taking the leap of faith, things will be as they should be for the two of you. I can't handle your words right now. And one of the reasons why perhaps they're not coming forward is because they can't really deal with the things you have to say right now. They can't listen to your words right now because perhaps they can't take in your words right now. They can't um, marinate them and like let them sit and, and have them um, really listen to them and take them in. We were good to each other. I'm getting this from this sexual energy here that, you know, you guys were good. Your chemistry was good. Like, you had it good. It was really, really good until it wasn't. For some of you guys, it even turned a bit vo volatile. But you guys were good. But something happened. Leaving you was harder than you think, that than you will ever know. So know that they did, this didn't, didn't this didn't come easy to them. They didn't take this lightly. They struggled. It is not what they wanted to do, but I feel like they knew that it was what they needed to do in order for them to transform, in order for you to transform, in order for you guys to move forward in this connection. We have here. I'm tired. I've been fighting a battle I can't win. So whatever they're going through, whatever this transformation is is is, uh, is taking them, where this transformation is taking them, and mo mostly it's taking them to looking at their shadows and healing their shadows and, and balancing the shadow on the light side. But they're tired right now. They feel like they cannot win this battle. They feel like they've been battling for a long time, but they just cannot catch their breath. They cannot catch a win. So they're tired. And this is perhaps why um, they're like, I can't handle your words right now because I'm tired, I'm broken, I'm healing, I'm trying, but nothing seems to be working. And lastly here we have, I'm broken, plain and simple. What did I just say? They're just broken right now. But they know, your person knows that in time, the dice will roll again and it will be different. There'll be a different story. There'll be a different answer. There'll be a different opportunity. They'll take a leap of faith. But right now, they can't handle your words. They're broken. Uh, but they do desire you right now. The physical. They have this sexual energy towards you. You might be feeling this. They might be showing up in your dreams. But um, know that you guys were good. You were good. And this was harder for him to or her to walk away than you will ever know. So guys, that was your reading. I hope that all resonates for you. If you guys are interested in getting a love letter for yourself, I do have it in my shop. Just go to the description box and you'll get all the information you need there. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys. If you guys chose the world or pile number three, this is your reading. Let's start with your dices here. So we have the world. We have this mask or face, whatever you want to say. Uh, and this was on the magnet before. I was like, what's going on here? Like, I remember seeing the magnet, but I just kind of turned it just then. So this is the dice. So the dice here is saying that the world is, is I feel like it's like the world is, is starting to, to rotate, turning to turn into the things that you want. There's certain things that you can't see. You this face this mask this something's hidden i feel like this has to do with hiding wanting to hide being like one in a billion like hiding in the world not being seen 
something about your person not wanting to be seen right now something about them want to hide in plain sight in this world it's, everything's moving everything's rotating but they want to be be invisible in this big crowd in this in this in this big scheme of things we have here the magnet as well this is like what is it what is your person attracting what are you attracting with this magnet here why are you attracting with this darkness why do you want to be invisible this is actually really really weird and this one keeps on moving so i'm gonna roll it again so this may roll it again and see what i get we have the l here the l and it goes back to the magnet i don't want to i don't know what to say with this well l it could be learners learning there's something learning something attracting learning but this one is just like i don't know what's going on with this i just want to get clarification to this entire thing here we have the hand or stop stop attracting these type of things it's time for you to stop attracting this um wanting to hide wanting to take cover wanting to um not be seen perhaps your person i don't know what that's trying to say there um it's time to stop something but again, let's get a dice on the world not on the world we have the abacus here it's time to counting down counting learning something when it comes to the world uh, because for me it's learning learning about the world learning about how things work stop attracting the perhaps people that keep you invisible or they your person is like i i, I want to be invisible i attract people that keep me invisible something like that i don't know i don't know i don't know where they're going with this let's see what your message is for your from your person this might not resonate for all of this this might be that one person watching this will resonate with this message here but let's get some some the love letter here this is a love letter so you know general reading take resonates so we have here i'm hopeless at matters of the heart and if you guys haven't watched the unspoken words with the divine masculine from yesterday uh have checked that out this came up and they talked about how they are not how they are hopeless at stepping into their heart space and all that we have here i see you and we have i'm shit with words so your person not only are they hopeless at matters of the heart but also want you to know that they're really bad with the words they're really bad with getting their uh, message across to you maybe when they talk to you they often um, get uh, misunderstood they stumble on their words things don't come out the way they want but they see you they could be watching you on social media they could be asking friends about you but they're keeping an eye on you they see you they see all you are doing and all you are glowing I feel like most of you guys watching this have gone through a glow up during this quarantine. You've gone through this um, awakening and renewal of yourself. And they see this. And they want to step into their heart and they want to tell you all the things that they've gone through. How they have glowed up. But they're shit with words. They don't know how to formulate the words and talk to you in a way where they're not just going to mess things up. We have here, my body aches for your touch. And we have here, you blow me away. So they are only, not only are they craving you energetically, but they're craving you physically as well. Their body aches for your touch, for your kisses, for your intimacy, for that physical um, coming together. They still see you and they still see how you much you blow them away with your beauty, with your mind, with everything that you are. Their heart still feels you. I've thought a lot about you lately. You're on their mind because you're in their dreams. Like you guys might be getting visited in your dreams. I mean, you guys could watch the second reading. Um, it was a very um physical energy, sexual attraction reading there. And this it was very physical. But they've been thinking a lot about you lately and thinking about just this how they get their words across to you, how they get their feelings across to you. <laughs> what did I just say about dreams? You've been in my dreams. Definitely watch pile number two. This could be for you as well. 
um you guys are meeting up in dreams you're getting physical you're getting you know intimate and you're really reconnecting um i feel like there's this kind of like transformational energy in all of this here wanting to transform um your relationship they might not be able to vocalize with words but they can might be able to tell you how they feel about you through touch through you know sensuality they can show you how they feel about you we have here sometimes you just have to walk away so when it comes to whatever happened to you guys before you know they're saying here sometimes you just have to walk away in order to be able to walk come back come back better come back more healed come back more uh authentic but also sometimes you need to walk away because it's just not right it's just not for you you know sometimes it's just not meant to be and they're saying here stop being so hard on yourself whatever happened between the two of you guys don't be so hard on yourself don't put all the blame on yourself if you're doing that don't hold yourself just accountable for this they are accountable for what happened as well and they hold their accountability they might not have come to you and said that they might be hiding away and being invisible but don't don't put yourself down over it don't be so hard on yourself because you need to forgive yourself there's really something here for you guys that they're saying that they they perhaps when they when they see you, they see how you are perhaps blaming yourself. You're not letting yourself off the hook. You're not forgiving yourself. They see how you're being hard on yourself. And they're like, you need to forgive yourself. And they know that it's not their place to come and tell you that. It's not, it's not their place to be like, oh, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. You need to forgive yourself. When they have a big part to play in how this came about. But they want you to know, like the higher self wants you to know that, you know, they see you. They feel you. And they wish you wouldn't be so hard on yourself because they love you. This person loves you. They do. But, you know, they just want you to not be so hard on yourself. Because you're mine forever and ever. You are my person forever and ever. Don't doubt that. My love for you is stronger than ever. It gets stronger every day. Just because they're not around, just because you guys don't communicate, doesn't mean that they don't care. Doesn't mean that they don't send you love energetically, healing energetically. Lastly, here we have, I've been deceiving myself. So they were deceiving themselves when it came to perhaps why they walked away, what they're doing, what they're doing right now. But they know that they've been deceiving themselves and they need to, to stop. They need to stop and they need to stop attracting that kind of energy. They need to stop trying to be invisible. Alienating themselves. Alienating you. So they know they've been deceiving themselves. They're aware of this now. Now they can start making changes. Now they can start moving forward. So guys, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys are interested in getting this reading for yourself, I do have it up on my shop all the information you need is in the description box below thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and i'll see you guys next time bye